Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about the 3D canvas and, and the, the possibilities that you have for, for what you display in the 3D canvas and how you select items, etc. So um, we can obviously just press the 3D button and that would show me everything that's in the canvas. So that would just do a 3D view of the PCB. Um, so let's just go and do that. So there's a 3D view of my PCB. I can kind of spin around and have a look and, and, and do cross probing and, and clash detects and stuff. Um, maybe I want to do something a bit more uh, specific or I, maybe I've got a large design file so what I can actually do here is start to restrict what items I'm actually sending off so maybe I turn everything off and maybe just send the dielectrics and the, maybe we'll do the pins and the wires um, and the symbols and we'll just click OK to that and that should speed up our access to the 3D view so when I've enabled the filter I then turn on the 3D view again and that would then restrict the items that are, that are getting sent to the 3D, so none of the tracking's been sent. It's literally just giving me the, the items that I picked from the filter. The final option is, um, let's just turn everything back on again. I can do uh, individual selection, so I could effectively just select a connector, for example, just do a right mouse button 3D view, and that would then show me that, that connector in the 3D view. I can also do that on a, on a net selection, so maybe let's just go and pick a net for example. So we'll tab all the way through to the net, right mouse button, 3D view, and then I effectively get the tracks, the pads, the wires that are on that net, and you can see going all the way through the design on the different layers. So multiple selections from a 3D view point of view.